Hi, thanks for uh, checking out the uh, AvTracer demo. Here we are logging in to the maintenance system and password. And here we are in the log main menu. And we can go to number four, flight operations, and pilot menu number one, enter, and pilot entry and inquiry. Reports is listed and can be customized to your requirement. Pilot entry, enter and inquire me, enter. Pilot code can be anything, I will use zero, zero. And here we can enter all information regarding the pilot. We can also examine PPC information for an aircraft type 727191. Here we are for the PPC information on that aircraft type. I'll escape, escape, and escape the pilot entry. And now we can go to the flight log menu. Flight log entry and inquiry and reports, etc. Enter into flight log entry. Use the stack for the previous entry. Here we are with an entry that's already on file. And we see the block out, block in, PIC landings, block time, flight time, etc. File. And now we are now transferring the information into maintenance on that airframe. And we can now go into another entry for that aircraft. And that goes on. I'll escape from that and escape from that and we'll go into the aircraft maintenance menu to see the results of our time entries. Continue operations number one and in the aircraft time batch entry number 10 we see that all the flight records for the pilots and the aircraft have been transferred and updated both in maintenance and into flight operations. Exit out of that now and we can now see all components and inspections and STCs all listed. We can select one of them, say maybe 006 and there's an installation of an STC of a GPS system on a 77-191 aircraft. We can also go into flight time airframe limits, air within its directives, number 10, and repetitive, 01, and there's all repetitive ADs listed as an example we'll take uh, 87 and here we have one track by landings an AD have a look at one of the engines engine number one Total time on the engine, time since in installed, and time since last repair. We can go into now, after the aircraft has been updated, we can go now generate some future maintenance to see what upcoming maintenance would entail. From here, we can do a five-year projection, five-year and do a summary and run the report. And now we have, based on our average utilization on airframe hours of four and airframe landings of two, will give us all maintenance due within the next five years. That is now to the printer. We can also now check out a report. There's the report menu, maintenance. And we can go into the aircraft time control report. 
and let's say it's 502 and it's uh, 720001, which is the engine assembly for all three engines on the aircraft. Enter and all the, all the uh, selections and press yes for all. And now we have a time control report for the engines. We can also do a full report on the full aircraft by just pressing yes to all items on the aircraft. We have other reports that could be customized for any aircraft. We now can remove and install assemblies and components. As an example, 504 could be the registration, ATA number for a fuel control unit, and the fuel control is hooked up to the engine as well as a pump. We will not remove the entire assembly. Use today as today's date for the removal and install the component that matches the removed one. All times are updated per the airframe time at removal and install. If we now escape and we can go now to inventory, we can have a look at the fuel control units in hand and select a serial number and there is information on a particular serial number a PO etc if we now go to say the part query and I type in a part number one two three it brings up all part numbers that have one two three contained in the part number escape go to the consumable menu and we can see all the information that is recorded in regards to consumable parts if I go back to the aircraft maintenance menu and into a task menu and we can go completed actions entry and say 502 completed today and let's say it's a C check now we can complete a C check and this is the next due date of the C check based on a two-year interval an average utilization Many more options include the snag entry and inquiry. If we go into the history and we go to the screen, there is a snag that was entered on 503 November. This short video and demonstration, I appreciate you looking, and it uh, is a, a little glimpse of what we have to offer. There's much more to it, and much data can be captured. If you would like any more information, please contact avtracer.com, and we'd be happy to help you and point you in the right direction. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.